Why don't we want to see women age? Why? Why is everyone so terrified to see women age? Why are we so terrified to see aging period in this culture? Why do we put old people in places and remove them from sight because they remind us I'm going to die? They remind us we're leaving here. And I think that's true with the body. If you have the perfect body, the perfect tits, the perfect ass, it moves you forward with men. It moves you forward with women. It moves you forward in jobs. And I think fitting yourself into that idea has become what people are spending a lot of time doing. You know, just money, energy, attention, time. It's also connected to dying, very much connected to dying. Because I think in this culture, people really don't die. See, death isn't amongst us. Death isn't with us. We're all immortal here. We're all forever young here. And we're all, I think so, if you, if you can control your body and manipulate your body and designate your body... It's all part of this whole immortal. Like the reason I believe in sex, like everything above, like above everything in the whole world. Like the reason I think sex is so important is that it's where you see your body in relationship to another body. But where you can, ah, it's just genius, sex, because it's where it becomes spiritual and it's where it becomes intellectual and where the body starts morphing into all these other amazing things. And I think that often girls get cut off from sexuality at a very young age. And so that is what then directs them to start manipulating their bodies. It's almost like an anorexia is a kind of very asexual thing. Those aren't the girls having sex. Those are the girls fixing your body. There's sex and then there's fixing your body. I am making a piece about teenage girls. I'm obsessed with teenage girls. It's really about coming into your power, coming into your voice, coming into your sexuality, coming into your wet, fluid, gushy life and going, oh my god, I gotta get rid of it because it's such a threat to the culture. It's such a threat to everything. And so what you learn how to do, because capitalism teaches you this, because the commodified culture is structured on this, is getting rid of the mess, where the mess is actually, where the mess would actually allow you to be human which would allow you to protest, which would allow you to revolt, which would allow you to have passion, which would get you to go out and somehow reconstruct the system. But if you keep shutting the person down and limiting the person, you disappear the person. You get to be skinny, then you get to, then you get to be that disappeared. All these girls that are starving themselves, I mean, you can't think much when you eat in a raisin a day. You know, you're not producing a lot of thought. You know, you need food in order to have a thought. So it's like, just keep shutting the system out, shutting the sy shutting out the system so that you're finally not a threat to anybody, so that you're disappeared. And I don't think that's accidental, one tiny bit. I think, I think it comes from capitalism. I think capitalism's actually the motor of this system. Is The motor of this system is how do you keep people hooked on disappearing idea of themselves. The people I am most drawn to are the women who actually, I used to have this like little game I play, like who lives in their vagina? And I would watch people walking down the street and I would watch people and I would go, in her vagina? Not in her vagina, in her vagina? Like Tina Turner, in, implanted, illuminated, transcendent, you know? And you can just watch her career where she literally lands in her vagina and like, you know, you know, she was in her vagina when she was younger, but then she really landed in her vagina when she got into her 50s. When What's Love Got To Do With It? After she left Ike, there was just like, oh my God, there was, I used to go and sit in the third row of all her concerts just so it would be kind of like, I would osmose her living her in her vagina into me that's what it looks like that's what it feels like if you're actually fully incarnated in your body 